all right guys this one's gonna be nice and short today i'm just gonna talk about infinites and the dizzy counter so the infinite protection in this game comes in the form of your opponent going into a dizzy state so in previous games when the opponent goes into a dizzy state you were able to get a combo after dizzy ended like the opponent would would go on the floor and you'd see the stars on their head and you get a free follow-up it doesn't work like that in marvel 2 in marvel 2 when the opponent gets dizzy they're gonna spin out and then they become invincible to follow-ups after so they're gonna always be able to guard so because of that prevention in this game there are no quote-unquote true infinites you do you have what you call loops right but in actuality if that infinite protection system wasn't in the game it would be an infinite so let's just um let's see if i can do this really quickly we're gonna try to rom to to 40 here oh god my rom is really bad yeah maybe Maybe it would have been easier if I used Sentinel, but we'll, we'll go for it. Alright, so there we go. You saw the dizzy state there. Right, now I can't follow up after that. So what do you, what do, you do to keep the combo going and prevent... Well, not prevent dizzy, but get as much damage before the dizzy counter comes in. There, There's... The only thing that counts towards the spin out in a combo are normal attacks like these or jumping attacks, right? Special moves do not count towards the opponent getting dizzy. So the way we like to go around this is we'll do ROM to 40 hits. Oh my God. I really wish I could show you guys this. But I gotta be focused to to actually get this. It might be easier on Sentinel. Let, let's just uh let's get Sentinel in the mix <laughs> to make my life easier and uh, to not make this video super duper long right um all right msp and we'll do seven okay so What's the get around to the dizzy, right? We want to do special moves so it doesn't count to the dizzy counter. So we'll do, well, infinite to 40 hits. And I messed that up. Okay, let's do that again. And we'll end with a special move so they don't dizzy out. Now, there are a lot of 100% that can come from, from cutting the combo and going for an ender, right? So I could have DHC'd into Storm there and Sentinel would have been dead. And we'll, 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 we'll look at that real quick. Hang on. Close to that, close to that, right? Um, obviously, you can you can get more damage in there, but that's kind of the 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 way the dizzy works in this game. You want to end your combo around thirty five to forty hits, and then go for uh, ender. So, like in the case of Iron Man, Iron Man would do um, about what 
eight, nine reps of the infinite, and then do fierce punch into proton cannon to maximize the damage. You don't ever want the opponent to spin out of your combo because then you lose your turn. So yeah, I really just wanted to explain the dizzy counter today. Sorry, my execution wasn't the greatest during this video, but hope you hope you guys get it. And it, remember, milk the stun, but do not get them dizzy. See you guys in the next one.